Hello everybody, my name is Todd and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. It's a Friday afternoon and uh, we just got up to the farm and it is cold, wet, and raining. Uh, it's not a fun day right now, but um, it is what it is. We've got some good news. Uh, came up Tuesday evening to feed and was able to figure out the problem with the backhoe. It was the fuel pump. It was my fault. I did not tighten the fitting that goes into the fuel pump tight and we were losing pressure and the fuel pump and that's why we weren't getting fuel we tightened that thing up and in probably two minutes it was cranked so uh the second problem with the backhoe was the back tire was leaking and the plan was to come up and take that tire off and take it to the shop and get them to put a tube in it well i just got here and jumped out started looking for the socket that i got and it's a it's like a special socket it's like an inch and an eighth and I've got everything but that socket. And uh, so I called the tire guy. I said, listen, I'll bring it in a couple days later. I got to get this thing working. Um, there's nothing really to do today but work on the tractor or work in the garden. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. You know, we filled the tire up. It stayed uh, filled uh, from Tuesday so i think it was just the way it was parked and set or something it's got a slow leak or something maybe in the valve but uh it seems to have corrected itself right now but we're going to take advantage of that and uh take advantage of this nasty weather and at least be able to get some work done we're going to go back over and start clearing out for the uh garden slash main house so uh i hope you guys had a great week and uh hope you have a fantastic weekend um we're gonna get at it well we were able to spend a couple hours on the backhoe with no issues but i wasn't able to record it because the gopro battery died and i didn't want to stop working and go get another one looks like i'm going to be on the lookout for a new camera soon after that we loaded up the pig food and went up to the pig pens where we mix feed fed the pigs, and washed out the little pig's pen. Once all the pigs were fed and looked after, and the feed was put up, we went up to the hoop house. So we come up into the uh, hoop house to check on our seedlings, and uh, definitely got some good luck going on here. This is our... Um, Napa cabbage and this is our daikon radish um, got nothing coming up over here we've got some carrots some spinach some artichokes uh, and a uh, few other things but this is the important one right here and it's doing very well so we're happy about that and right now we got a pile of seeds on the floor and we're gonna plant one more planter I think I'm going to do some lettuce and spinach for the uh, aquaponics. I haven't been having too much luck with the um, lettuce. It grows well, and then what happens, it gets it gets so hot in this daggum hoop house that everything goes to bolt. So um, we're going to try it early this year. And uh, anyway, if it don't work, it's okay. I'm planting <laughs> I like working and I like gardening and like cooking and farming. So that's what we do. That's what we do and that's what we're here doing. So uh, I've got another little pot I made up down there. I'm going to go ahead and make a um, basically a herb, mini herb garden um, and probably take that back to the house. But All right, we got dill, lavender, basil, oregano. 
and parsley. So we're going to do a small little um, mini herb garden with that. I've been having some issues with my herb garden, so uh, the only thing I'm getting to grow out there, <laughs> I got one plant growing, everything else died off. But uh, I had some mint and some basil in there, and I think they'll probably come back. Um, we just got to get some water on there and uh, start taking better care of them. But everything else is doing okay. Uh, uh, hydroponics is doing okay. We cleaned up the aquaponics last weekend. We've got to introduce some new fish in there. So we want to get that system up and running before um, we uh, put the plants in there. And our avocados, we saved them in here. And this, this Gainesville variety is growing sprouts at the bottom. That'll be interesting. It'll be nice. Uh, we're hoping to get those guys outside this year and possibly get some avocados out of this tall one it's a Haas avocado but it needs i think another year or two but anyway we're up here in the hoop house having a little bit of fun um sun finally came back out after the rain left and it's gotten a little bit nicer out but uh i was set on coming in here and doing some gardening so we're gonna get at it Um, that's all we're going to do in the garden today or the hoop house. Uh, we got one little um, tray planted um, and uh, we planted some romaine lettuce, some head, iceberg head lettuce, and we planted some spinach. I think I'm going to push all that and put it into the aquaponics system. And we missed it, our seedlings. And then what I do is once they start sprouting, uh, I missed them one time and then I start watering them from the bottom so the roots will grow down. It really helps with uh, them um, when you transplant them if those roots are growing down instead of growing up to the top. So, got all that taken care of. Um, I hear some cows calling for me so we're off to go feed the cows. Okay, so it's Friday afternoon. We've got all the uh, chores done. The animals are fed. Uh, we spent a little time on the tractor earlier. Everything's working right. It's running good. <laughs> Happy about that. It didn't break down again. The tire didn't go flat. So uh, we're going to get a, we got a little bit of daylight left. We're going to go um, spend about an hour or so working on getting a couple of the bigger trees down and uh, clearing out some more area for the garden and uh, the main house. So you got a few hours burning daylight. Got to get at it.
trying to alleviate the water situation and the beaver situation down here in the pasture. Um, we've got uh, Justin and Matt and Jerry are down there. They're setting traps and digging out the trenches. So we're going to go down and join them and going to get at it. All right. So we're down in the bottom. Um, Justin and Matt are setting traps. We dug out two trenches and we're going to set one more up. Jerry's down there digging out a couple of more trenches. We're going to get as much water out of here as we possibly can and then uh, go from there. Try to get the rest of the beavers out. So it's nice and windy and chilly, but got to get her done. All right, well, I have a wild imagination, but I never thought I would be down digging out beaver dams while I'm building the farm. But, you know, in order to get the, the pasture down here for the cows, we've got to do this. So, unfortunately, the beavers and I can't get along, so they're going to have to leave one way or the other. But, as you can see, we got another one of the trenches dug out. Jerry's got one dug out over there. The water's coming down and hopefully we can keep it coming down and with the help of the traps and uh, coming back down here and checking these traps and keep digging this out we can hopefully get it down and of course we need a dry spell we got some rain the other day and that didn't help we had it drawn down quite a bit more so anyway this is uh, honeysuckle farms we raise uh, chickens pigs cows and beavers <laughs> We're trying to get rid of the beaver part. It's not uh, profitable. Anyway, we're done with this part. We got other things we need to go do and I gotta go get some hay, so we're gonna get at it. Um, we worked on the backhoe all day yesterday. We got the oil changed. We got it running back again, pulled it out here into the lot and it died. So uh, we're gonna change plans here. I guess we're gonna do a little more work around here and then we're going to go back up and work on the carriage house. Um, yeah, it just happens. When things start breaking down, they just keep breaking down. But we'll get back at it and learn some more mechanic and skills and uh, try to figure it out. All right. So we're uh, up in the carriage house working our attempt to get on the backhoe and clear some more property failed. Uh, the backhoe quit working again. We're just having a trouble with that thing. But... Uh, we managed to cut some trees down and pile a huge pile for the bonfire. So we did manage to get some work done, but it was all manual labor instead of tractor labor. But uh, so we decided to finish that up and get up here on the carriage house. Um, we're going to be working on the front porch. We've got an LVL that spans the whole distance of the front. We got to stick up. It's not necessarily needed for the porch itself but for the ceiling for the porch so we're going to go ahead and get that up it's uh it's 19 foot long it's a little heavy but i got jerry and matt here to help me so we're going to get that bad boy up and then next week we're going to get the rest of the wood for the um porch and get the porch framed in uh so um yeah that's what we're doing working back on the carriage house gonna get at it
all right so it's sunday afternoon it's the end of the day the sun's going down and uh we're done for the weekend um it wasn't the best weekend i can tell you that but uh we tried very hard to get some things done um we were able to get the uh lvl and ledger board up on the uh, front porch upper porch for the ceiling wanted to get those done today um our main goal this weekend was to get this area cleared over here for the new garden where we're going to put the main house and we had a lot of trouble with the tractor we thought we got it fixed but then got it back over there this morning it broke down but we were able to cut a bunch more trees down and make a huge pile for our bonfire um and uh you know that's about all we could get done uh, just a lot of manual work like i said before but again we were planting seeds and you know doing the normal chores and stuff that we do you know it's uh it's just um it is what it is you know i say that quite often but you can't really get upset about it you just uh and i get frustrated and sometimes and uh disappointed in you know what we get done but you know i don't let it bother me you know i i work for the next weekend i start planning right away for the next weekend and see what we can get done but um and i hope everybody had a fantastic weekend i hope you have a fantastic week and uh just remember what i always say don't ever ever give up on your dreams my name is todd this is honeysuckle farms hope to see you in the next video